What is going on guys? Welcome back to Bagging Outdoors. Today we are driving out on the lake. We're going to be making a video that I don't think a lot of YouTubers do. Um, we're going to be out doing some burbot fishing. Burbot fishing's kind of been getting more popular um, every year so I think I'm going to make a video today and uh, show you guys some tips and tricks and hopefully you guys can catch some burbot yourself. So I would say the number one thing that you're going to want to look for when you go fishing for burbot is be on a lake that has a lot of burbot and today so today we are on Lake Winnebagashish. Obviously it has a lot of bourbon in here, but this uh, you're mainly looking for a lake that's big, deep, and uh, most of the time it's gonna be clear as well. So there's three main ones that are in northern Minnesota. You got Lake Bemidji, Lake Winnebagashish, and Cass. Um, I personally think that Winnie has the most and then Cass has the biggest, but uh, yeah. So once you've kind of figured out the lake that you're going to go to, you're going to want to look for two things. And that's going to be deep water access with a steep rake line and also hard bottom. So anything like sand or rock or gravel, as long as it's not mud, you're probably going to find some burbot there. And then also it's usually better if it's around February or March because that's when the burbot spawn kind of, kind of goes on. And uh, so as you can see today, right there, that tip is in about... 15 feet I want to say and then the shack's in like 22 23 so we're on a pretty steep break line and then behind me there is like one of the deeper parts in the lake of like 40 feet or so so that's what you're kind of looking for you're looking for deep water next to like a shallow shelf so it's usually pretty similar to a walleye spot it's not uncommon to catch walleyes when you're bird fishing as well so uh yeah I'll kind of show you guys what we're using here and uh, we should catch some burbot here as soon as that sun goes down all right oops First flag of the night. I did just catch a pike, I didn't get it on film, but we got walleye, that's a nice walleye. Mm. Alright. Sun hasn't even went down yet, but what'd you catch that one on? A bunch of fat heads, I think. Two fatties. Two fat heads. A single hook. Hook out for you. Just a little octopus hook there. Trying to catch a burbot. Got a nice 20 inch walleye or so. Yeah, you just take a single hook, put a couple fat heads on it. And uh, yeah, it's usually pretty good for burbot. I think it's one of the most underrated ways to catch burbot because you can spread your lines out, especially when it's not spawn and the uh, burbot are more spread out. You can just use a tip up. Probably not too big, huh? It is a burbot. It's kind of tangled up in the deucer. First burbot for us of the night. I would have helped you land it, but I'm recording. Yeah, I got you. That's all right. Oh, wrong way. He ain't bad. He's got a good belly on him. Oh, yeah. Nice leopard pattern on that one. Come around and see the belly. Whew! Pre spawn full of eggs, probably. Super cool looking fish. Probably one of the most underrated fish you can catch ice fishing. Yeah. Nice and plump. Nice and plump. <laughs> All right. Let's catch some more. There's definitely a fish down there. A little heavier. Heavy, huh? There's no one down there. Huh? I know, that's why I was trying to double up, but it's not nice and small. Alright. Another one. Darker one. I should get back down there, but you can see it. About a pounder on the same thing. That's a dark one, probably a male, but yeah. I'm gonna keep fishing because there's more down there, and they usually come in groups. All right guys, so this is kind of the magical bait you want to use for burbot fishing. Just a quarter ounce, that's a moon eye jig, but any kind of jig that glows or anything that's got a lot of decent weight on it so you can pound the bottom. Just a big presentation down there and then you just put as much meat as you can on there. We like to use fat heads, at least two of them. And uh, yeah, you just jig that around. 
about you sorry sapsuckers come out here and take a romantic gander at the moon. Which direction? To your left. Oh, I see it. Oh, bourbon. Actually? Yes. Holy shit, and good luck. Yeah, Ian tells us to look at the moon. Jesus, dude, I can't catch. I'm gonna throw one of those juice in. Number three for Will, I have not caught Furbit yet. Another one down there. I choked it. Yep. Do you want a picture of that one? No. No? Alright. What's up? What's up? You guys catch anything? We've caught three. Okay. Recently? Uh, it's been... Since the moon was out. Yeah, Ian saw the last one. Oh, okay. Were they, like, in a row, or...? No. Oh, we got another one. We're in a row now, mother. <laughs> oh, I didn't know, I didn't know we were filming. You gotta be a little more yep, professional, I you guess. You have to put on one of your jigs. Sorry, sapsucker. Burbit number four. Oh, that one actually looks pretty cool. They got cool, like, birthmarks on them all over. There's another one down there. I saw that fish down there. Finally. See him on my screen. That felt so weird. It might not even be a burbot, it feels small. No, it's gotta be a burbot. Yeah. Alright. I only caught a fish in my own video. Turned around in the hole. How's it going? Not great. There we go. All right, guys. My first bourbon of the night. Not a big one. Probably one of the smaller ones we've caught tonight. But yeah, pretty cool looking fish. Super slimy. They'll just wrap around your arm. By far the slimiest freshwater fish there is. Yeah, just awesome markings. Cool thing about Burbit is each one of them is unique. None of them ever have the same exact markings. And uh, look at that belly, pre-spawn. Doesn't get any better than that. But it's a good fight. There we go. All right, Ian just joined me in the shack and uh, got his first Burbit here. First ever Burbit. Yep, not a bad one, a two, three pounder. Oh, sweet, dude. Just using the old jig with the minnow. All right, guys, we are now off the water. Got very cold very fast, and we got very hungry, but uh, ended up catching like 11 burbot or something, which definitely is not too bad for two or three hour long burbot fishing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys learn something, and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the burbot video. And as always, remember, keep on bagging them.